Hello everyone. Hello everybody. Uh, we are back at Junior Worlds. And now the event is over. Yeah, we're, we're done. Suited and and Tatiana, yes. <laughs> yeah, and we, I lost my voice. But um, we yeah, still we, can do it. You were, I know you were screaming too much now. <laughs> For all the athletes, nah, she's always very, very quiet. <laughs> too much. I was talking too, too much. Too yeah. Too. So it was an exciting event, and uh, Taiwan Taipei was a great host. It was a great host. I loved it. We just earlier said we would love to have more events here because the organization was very good. Also, everyone was very nice, very helpful to everyone involved. Um, also, they had it did it very nicely with the tickets and the audience. Uh, so they gave the tickets for free. You had to register before. And um, for Junior Worlds, there were quite a lot of spectators here. Yeah, yeah. And also all the skaters, the teams, everybody loved it. And they were very happy, felt very welcome. Yes. And it was an exciting competition. It was an exciting competition. Um, very high level, I would say, especially in the singles disciplines. Um, which one was the category what, what we will start with? The pairs was especially in the free skate, it was a bit messy, I yes, have to say. Unfortunately, many mistakes. I mean, pair skating is, a, is the most difficult discipline. Many skaters say so because they have to do the single elements like the jumps and they have to do pair elements like the throws and the lifts. So it's really hard and for the juniors to, to yeah. develop all these skills. Especially in juniors, a lot of these pairs, they don't skate together for too long. Some just came from singles. They are just doing pairs for one, two years. So yeah, it's kind of uh, understandable that more mistakes happen. Uh, but yeah, I think especially in the free skate, it was also nerves for a lot of these young teams who saw the chance to maybe make the podium and then they faltered a bit under the pressure. Yeah, even the top favorites, the Georgian team, um, Anastasia, Mitchell, Kinder, Luca, Berolava, who won the junior finals by the wide margin and then with uh, Europeans in second place. And they had a great short program, but then in the free kind of, it did, they, they didn't have an explanation. Yeah. Um, Everything Luca said it in a funny together. way. He said it's like a sport, it's like casino. <laughs> so sometimes you have bad luck and nothing really worked out. And there were many smaller mistakes also. It's a fall on the uh, side by side, triple circle. So yeah, there was, but they said it's a good lesson for them. And now they will regroup and get ready for senior worlds. worlds. Yeah, still it was uh, by far enough to win. They also had like a super big margin from the short where they were very convincing. In the long, uh, it was not that obvious. The second pair uh, who won the silver medal, Olivia Flores and Lu Wang, they were actually close to them. They had the higher technical score. Um, still, they had no chance against the Georgians because they are just another level and it's kind of time for them to totally move up to seniors. <laughs> yes. Even to be said that if uh, maybe you come back with the IA, as if they each will change again. I think you know, they should move up to <laughs> yeah, seniors. I think so too. But um, Olivia and Luke, yeah, they did a great job. Yes. And um, they have improved so much since the uh, final. Yes, they uh, also an upcoming team. They have skated together for one and a half years. And you can see that they are constantly and quickly improving. Um, they had a clean short in the long. Especially Olivia said there were some nerves. Actually, she saw the Georgian team fell apart. And I think it got into her head a little bit that maybe there was a chance to <laughs> even win this. Yeah, she said it was a lesson for her to maybe not know too well what was going on because she knew that the Georgians uh, yeah, had faltered. But nevertheless, they had a quite good uh, long program and very deserved won the silver medal. Yeah, and the bronze went to another American team and actually trained together with Olivia and Luke, Naomi yeah. Williams and Lachna Lua. And uh, they also had an interesting story because poor Naomi had a bad injury, she injured ligament in her ankle. And she needed surgery, yes. and so they missed the whole junior Grand Prix, and they only came back for US Nationals. Exactly, and they were so happy. You could really see what it meant to them to even be here, and then they made the podium. It was very special for them. It's always a very special moment if you see, uh, yeah, all this hard work paying off, and then they get deserved with the medal. Um, even though they also didn't have the most difficult programs, but it was enough. They were the third best team, and they won the yeah. bronze. 
Interesting, the Italian team that I've never really paid attention to before, Irina Napolitano and Eduardo Comi. Um, both of us, well, especially she is a quite good single skater. She yeah. competed in Italian nationals, nationals yes. yes, and also in, in smaller international events. And uh, so, and they, they, I think uh, what they did was very smart. They did. They, they used their strengths side by side jumps. So there's a clean triple jumps in the free skating, um, sack and toe, and then they and the pair elements that are new for them. They did double, but they were clean. They were nicely executed, and so that paid off that they got even the small bronze medal for the free skating. Yes, a very surprising result, but yeah. Yes, this team um, also is, I think, is quite a new team. They will, and they are still very young. They have more year, I think, more years, I think, in junior. Um, so maybe we will see them on the podiums next year. Yes, and uh, the two Canadian teams, <clears throat> we expected more because yes. they did well. They were in the junior final, and uh, Eva Kemp and Jonathan Elizarov were even silver so, medalists in the final. So, but uh, yeah, yeah, it just didn't, fell apart. Yeah, didn't really work out too many mistakes. Uh, also, not not a reason specific reason yeah. for that. Also, yeah, Jonathan hmm. said they have no reason, no explanation at this point. It's a sport. I kind of really think maybe it was the pressure. Yeah, because they maybe. knew the chance to medal here was huge. Same with the other Canadian team who had some uh, major problems at the final. There they had an explanation why they didn't perform well. Here they had a pretty solid short, were third after the short, and uh, Marina Anoukent and Charlie La La Liberté Laurent, thank you. They had a good short, but they also totally fell apart in the free skate, unfortunately. So yeah, both Canadian teams in fifth and sixth, um, yeah, also the Ukrainian team, Violeta Sirova, Ivan Kopta. Um, yeah, not like last year. Last year they won the bronze. Um, she had long injury prob problems. She said the injury got a little bit better now, but yeah, I think they, they are also a bit uh, understandably destructed by this uh, uh, situation in Ukraine and yeah. also didn't have the strongest skates here. Yeah, so that's very understandable. Okay, so let's move on to, to the next uh, category. The women. The ladies, yeah. And so, of course, there we have the battle at the top between Maurice Limata and, yes, and Shin. Yes. And it was again the same battle. <laughs> the same battle with the same outcome again, Maurice Shimada won in the free skate. Uh, Chia Shin, uh, they, they were both, the short. won the short, exactly. Uh, they were both fantastic in the short. And there, as Mao was at least not as a single jump able to do the triple axel, uh, Chia won, I think, deserve, deserved, because she is a more artistic skater. Uh, but in the, in the long, uh, she cannot keep up with Mao once she lands her um, Ultra C elements, and she landed in beautiful quad toe. Had a step out at the triple axel, but yeah, everything else was perfect, and so she very deserved won the second junior world title. Yes, and they were, and for Jia it was a third silver medal, and she said rightfully that she's very honored, proud to have won these three medals in a row, which is also a rare. And um, they're both just exquisite skiers and a joy to watch and. Uh, looking forward to more battles between them in the future. Yes, <laughs> I'm kind of, I'm kind of sad though that it, especially Chan after the three seasons in junior, she still cannot yeah. move up to senior. She has another season in junior, but in the Olympic season she will be able she, a senior eligible, while Mao then still has to stay in junior. So um, yeah, but yeah, very very exciting skaters. And the, but also the uh, gold medalist Rina Uyazono, also from Japan, she had a mistake in the short, she was only in eighth place, but then she came back so strong and it was also just wonderful performance. Uh, and really, she's, she's a new face. It was her first year on the international junior circuit. We will have her four more years on the junior yes. circuit. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, exciting words to come from her. She said, she, uh, in the, after the free skate, she thinks she was able to spread the charm of her program. And uh, oh, yeah. she did. Yeah. She did. <laughs> 
She was yes. 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 also wonderful. Uh, the, the little Finnish skater. Yeah, Ida Kahneman. And I, I'm so proud because I wrote in my article in Pirouette magazine in August because I watched, I went to her training camp in August. I saw her train and I saw her land all the triple, triple combinations like so easily. So I wrote in art, August in my article, watch out for her. She is going to be very good this season. And I was proven correctly. <laughs> she nailed it. She had two super clean performances. Um, very uh, yeah, strong nerves and uh, was deserved in fourth place. Yeah, that was a great result. Uh, Iko Kushida from Japan, that was, she didn't do so well in the Junior Grand Prix and I kind of was surprised, I didn't really know what that, who, who she is and when she came, um, but I also was impressed by her. Yeah, very... very uh, She's tall for her yes, age. Yes, very tall, uh, but very expressive skater. Yes, and uh, yeah, had a very good short. Then she had, I think, two mistakes in the three that uh, kept her off the podium. But uh, yeah, I think she's a bit older. Maybe she's already eligible mm. for seniors. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Then uh, Anastasia Brandenburg from Switzerland. Uh, both Swiss girls actually did very well. And Fia... Three Swiss girls. Three. <laughs> well, four. <laughs> so, well, there are two <laughs> girls who are to skate for Switzerland. Then we have Sabina Jos, who now skates for Italy and got actually in seventh. She's half Swiss, half Italian. And the fourth one is Noel Strayli from who skates for Poland, but also is, uh, uh, I think, at least half Swiss. So yeah, but we have two girls who skate from Switzerland and both did very well. Anastasia Brandenburg came in sixth place um, and she, she was, she, she was so, so, so sweet and she was so overwhelmed with the situation and so happy that she placed so high and kind of surprised by herself how good she was and that it was cute to see. Yeah, and also the other girl, Antea Garinaro, is also very nice to watch. <laughs> yes. She did very well. <coughs> Excuse me. Very solid performances. Yes. And Sarina Jos, who we just mentioned already, who's now skates for Italy, she came in seventh, had a very strong free skate. Um, and uh, yeah, she will also perform at Senior Worlds in two weeks uh, for Italy. And uh, yeah, very huge improvements this season. Very solid. Actually, all these skaters who train with uh, Linda van Thuyen in Zurich, they all are very consistent. Yeah, um, they are very consistent, very good technique. Um, yeah, good camp there. Yeah, they said uh, skaters that they enjoy to, to train in their group and uh, they're really pushing each other. Yes. Yeah. So let's move on to the dance. And kind of there yeah, we had the expected result. Uh, at least the first four positions were exactly the same as at the Junior Grand Prix yes. final. <laughs> That's often so in dance. So there was some movement in between. Uh, between uh, oh, um, but uh, I have here the short program, uh, short uh, rhythm dance result only. But like the French team, they were back in the rhythm dance, and then they because they made a mistake, but then they came uh, moved up in the free dance. Uh, but yeah, so there was some movement in standings, and other people dropped. But the top three. Um, if the top three they say flipped because yeah. the Germans were second after the prison dance and then the Israeli team overtook them but uh, it was a small motion between these two teams and but the clear winners were Lea Nesset and Artyom Markelov who United could even States. Uh, um, could even afford a little mistake at the choreo lift at the end of the free dance uh, but they still like overshone everyone and they're I think the more most mature team, yes. and that sets them apart. Right, they look more the most senior, you can say. They um, were very mature. The others are a bit younger, and uh, um, but they are also you can see the huge potential in them. Yes, uh, the silver medalist, silver medalist winners, Elizabeth Tchenko, Alexei Kliakov, um, they have very. They are very artistic, very into their programs, very into their characters, and they really put a lot of intention on that. And Alexei also said, like now when they have this really dramatic free dance, they with this free dance they discovered their potential to create uh, unique programs, and they want to uh, show that again next season. Mm. Yeah, the Germans uh, and uh, Daria Kremicha-Savitsky, as well as 
Israeli were the first ones to win a medal in ice dance at Junior Worlds for their country. So they made a little bit of history. Uh, yeah, Daria and Michael um, put out the two best performances of the season for them. Very solid, very clean, very nice. There was a little wobble on the twizzle that might have cost us the medal. Um, but uh, other than that, um, they did very well. And after the bad luck they had last season, when they had to withdraw after the Risen Dance as Daria fell sick. Um, so this time they were here and they they made the podium. So very exciting for them. Yeah. Uh, then the French team uh, we just mentioned who had a little stumble in their yeah. short. Uh, Selina Fragi and Jean-Hans Fournier. You're the one who pronounced the French names, please. Selina Fragi, Jean-Hans Fournier. Yeah. Um, they fought back in the free. Uh, they also have another junior season uh, coming up. Actually, all these top teams could stay in junior. All of them are a little bit undecisive for how, how the next season will look like. So, yeah, we will see if we have them all again. Yeah, then <laughs> we will know when the uh, Grand Prix starts, uh, uh, when we get the assignments. Also, the Italian team, Noemi Maria Tali, Noah Lafonara, had a, a good uh, rhythm dance, but then a very unfortunate in the free dance. At the very end, the final pose, they fell. they fell over. He fell over and he took her down, and that counted as two falls. So, yeah. yeah, that put them down a little bit. Still, it was a very good outing for them. They're kind of a new team. They are a new team. They paired up last April, I think they said, and on the Junior Grand Prix, they participated, but they were not yet ready, uh, so they improved since the junior Grand Prix um, around 10 points <laughs> so now they were in the top final group um, and yeah but they will have to move up to senior in case the age rules stay as they are I do want to mention the young French team da uh, yeah. <laughs> Dania Moulin <Moulet> <coughs> um, 14 15 years old the first junior season they have so much power, so much energy, already finished in the top 10. So, And they also said their big idols are Gabriela and Guillaume. And uh, she said in perfect English, like he was a bit shy, but she speaks English also already with the press. And she said, yes, yeah, one day she wants to be like them. And I think the potential is really there. <laughs> but they uh, have a very different look to them. Yeah. <laughs> so it will be, yeah, we'll see how they will develop. Uh, I think they will really find their own style but they're very promising yeah yeah they are great yeah uh, so um everybody uh, really loved them because uh, you can see how that yeah you can see the potential they have yeah so now uh, the final category that finished the competition last night was that were the men and uh, we kind of had a surprise winner not really but uh, not everyone had him on the radar minkyu seo yeah they're from korea he didn't make the junior final and he was very upset about that and he w didn't make news olympic games and he was sad about that so he really said i wanted to do well at junior worlds i wanted to come here it was really important for me and then he came out and he was just yeah he's brilliant he's um, so young but he really um, pays for him. It's not only about jumps, and he says it that figure skating is more than jumps. It's the whole package, and uh, he deservedly got the highest component score too. And he won the short uh, program because he had a clean performance. He added the triple axel. He didn't have that in the junior compre. Now he came with a arm um, with a triple axel, and he was and he he popped one in the free. But I mean, <laughs> yeah, just one one mistake like this so a very deserved winner very much and i actually asked him or i told him in the mix zone you know you won because of the components and then he said yeah like from a young age i always paid attention to components and today my point was proven that i am correct <laughs> and that's i think that's so kind of sassy or like yeah. <laughs> for such a i think he's 15 such a young man but also so confident and also he has the point the components yeah. are super important and yeah very exciting young skater to watch he has also one or two more seasons in junior where he cannot move up to senior uh now and he told us that his goal is to next year make the final yes 
uh, and uh, get a consistent triple X. So Ryo Nakata from Japan, he was one of the top contenders as he won the junior final. Then he didn't have such a good outing at the Youth Olympic Games. That's so really, <laughs> that apparently yeah. really traumatized him. Yes, 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 it was upsetting for him. So came here. Again, pro program wasn't perfect, so he was only fifth, but then he really fought for it in the long and moved up and got the silver medal. He won the free skating um, and he claimed the silver medal, so he was very happy about that. Even though he said, yeah, I made the mistake on the quads and this is why I didn't win. Like, he's, he's a very ambitious young man. He clearly wanted to win, but I think of he course. was, in the end, he was also happy with the silver. Yeah, yeah. And the man of the season, <laughs> yes. I would say Adam Hagar of Slovakia. Yes, the busiest skater. The busiest season. skater, but also the most consistent one. Except for this one Junior Grand Prix in Budapest where he mm. fell apart in the free. He is so consistent in every single competition. He goes out, delivers his two triple axles, <coughs> um, all his jumps, his programs, and he's just so reliable. And uh, he had two good performances uh, here again. Uh, not the quad, maybe not the best components yet, but uh, he delivered and I'm so happy for him yes. that he got onto the podium again. And he made his way as the first Slovak skater to win an ISU uh, championship medal and for Minkyu Seo as well, because he was the first Korean male skater to win a medal at Junior Worlds. We had Jona Kim obviously before and we had last season the Ice Dance couple. Um, and but now there's also, and Korea has so many good uh, young skaters now, so really exciting. Yeah, uh, yeah. they're coming. And for Adam, it goes on now to Senior Worlds, and then he's finally done. Yeah. <laughs> you see how he does there. Well, there for him, it's probably the goal to mainly qualify for the free skate, because we have such a long list of skaters, no. but we will talk about that when Senior Worlds come yes. around. Some more skaters you want yeah, to mention? Sh um, yeah, Shunsuke Nakamura. He um, had also mistaken the short and he fought back in the free land Quetzal. So uh, moved up to fourth place. <clears throat> yeah, Francois Pito, unfortunately for him, uh, he's second in the fourth program. And then he dropped, he made two big mistakes, he fell. And, and he was very popped. disappointed. Yeah, he uh, was. Um, yeah, the, the, the other Korean, Ye Kam Lee, very shy boy, <laughs> I have to say, uh, but also also very good components, very good posture. He said his idol is uh, Shoma Uno and Yuma Kageyama. And um, yeah, he was uh, fighting also with the triple axles. I think he is kind of a similar skater to Ming Kyu Seo, but not that polished yet. Mm. Arlet Levandi, of course, yes. one of our faves. Uh, Definitely. Such an exquisite skater, beautiful skater. Yeah. And also nice programs. And uh, he decided not to risk the triple axel. He was going for clean skate. Unfortunately, he popped uh, the last combination. Yeah, the last combination. That cost a lot of points. He would have been uh, higher. He yeah. would have been fourth. Um, but I'm kind of glad it didn't cost him the medal. Yeah. <laughs> that would have been a bit of a drama. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he, it cost him fourth place and um, next year he said uh, he'll come back with the triple axel and be on the podium. <laughs> Yeah, maybe one more we want to mention. Uh, he may finish in 15th place from oh, Canada. Yeah. He kind of drew attention at Canadian National. Anthony Pardy. <laughs> yes. The Canadian. Uh, Very flamboyant skater. Yes. And um, yeah, if you if you if you have time to just watch a few skaters back, go and watch Anthony. He uh, is so into his programs, so into the character, very flexible, very nice transitions. He really, he, yeah, he is really a showman, <laughs> and uh, he's very mature for his young age. We had him here in the interview; it will come out uh, soon, actually. So. Um, yeah, very uh, engaging personality and uh, great skater to watch. Not the highest technical content, but uh, very nice to watch. Yeah. yeah, so yeah, it was also a good uh, event with many exciting skaters um, in all disciplines. And uh, now the juniors almost done. all done. <laughs> yeah, except for Adam. <laughs> And, and uh, yeah. Edward Appleby. Edward, yeah, Edward. Also goes yeah. On to senior wells. He had a good short program here. And yeah, so mm. then we will move on to senior wells. Yes, we'll see you soon in Montreal. It's in like two weeks. And uh, then the juniors, we will see them next season. Exactly.
拜拜，拜。